Welcome friends once again here we have got another problem of trigonometric application word problem right uh, here question is saying from a point P on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degree a flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of the elevation of the top of the flag stuff from P is 45 degree find the length of the flag stuff and the distance of the building from the point P you may take the value of under root 3 as a 1.732 this is the question and as I have already told you we have to picturize it right so let's me le le let me picturize it So here in this picture <coughs> as question is saying from a point P so here is my point P on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the 10 meter building tall building so this is the AB here is the tall building which is of 10 meter right the angle of elevation is here 30 degree see here this is 30 degree right and a flag is hoisted at the top of the building see from this top of the building a flag is being hoisted here right uh, and uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the flag stuff from P again from P when we was this right again from P when we was this right the angle of elevation is now 45 degree now it is 45 degree for this for the point D right find the length of the flag stop and the distance of the building from the point P means we need to find out the length of this BD how much BD have and how much PA have right what is the distance between this P point and the building so let me write whatever the value we have got first okay first here BD is the length of the or you can say height of the flag length of flag right and here AB is the AB is the height right height of the building <coughs> height of the building and here AP is the distance between right a distance between uh, point P between P and the building okay and here angle DPA equals to 45 degree and angle P uh, sorry BPA right uh, first I talk this one and then this one equals to 30 degree right our elevation angle of elevation right angles of elevation so these are our information that we have got and next thing we have got the height of uh, AB is equals to 10 meter we have got the height of the high, uh, height of the building that's 10 meter so now first we need to find out the distance between AP uh, the, uh, means first we need to find out the distance right what is the distance between uh, this building and this hab and then we have to find out <coughs> what is the height of or what is the length of this flag so let's let me first find out the distance let me first focus myself in AB okay so look at here this AP we don't know we have to find out and we have got this AB so again you know this is forming a right angle triangle and in this right angle triangle we have got the opposite and the base right we have got the base and the opposite uh, sometimes this opposite also known as the perpendicular P right so again uh, just uh, as I told you that we have to find out the relationship or the ratio that trigonometric ratio which is which is going to match with this so what is the relationship between the P and the B yes we know that is 10 is perpendicular over the base so here in triangle BA 
P this is right angle triangle right I have to apply tan 45 degree sorry tan 30 degree why tan 30 I applied because I have got the opposite I have got the perpendicular uh, I have to find out the perpendicular uh, yeah I have got the perpendicular and I have to find out this base that is why right and it is uh, only in the tan we don't use chord because we don't think that's a little bit standard okay so here <coughs> it's a b divided by a p and we all know that that root uh, the value of the tan 30 is 1 divided by root 3 and we know that a b we don't know a b so I'm writing a p here and the value of the a p now uh, we know uh, we know the value of a b here that is 10 meter right this is 10 meter and we don't uh, we don't know this a p so that's why I'm writing here a p now uh, let me move it a little bit so now from here what we get that a p equals to 10 root 3 and question is saying we have to put the value of root 3 as 1.732 so the a p the distance between these two we have got now how much it is equals to 17.32 meter so this distance is ten, uh, 17 okay 17.32 meter now we need to find out the length of this BD or the length of this flag or the height of the flag so first uh, we cannot find out directly this PD so first we need to assume this whole triangle this triangle P A B and then we'll be getting the value of A D we can get easily the value of A D right we know we can get A D value and once we'll get A D we can subtract A B we'll be subtracting this A B part right and then we can easily get this D B whatever we have right this D B we can easily get so let's find out this B D for that again in a right triangle D A P right D A P what value I have to take now yes again I have to take tan 45 degree why I'm taking tan because I need I have I have given uh, now we are given this A P that is base because recently we find out the base we know the base and we are going to find out this perpendicular or this opposite so this is now uh, not A P A D it's A D or you can say just wait let me raise it so tan 45 because to now AD AD divided by divided by this AP so tan 45 we know all that is 1 and uh, we don't know the value of AD but we know the value of AP so let me write here AD and AP is 17.32 so how much we got therefore we got that AD is equals to AD is equals to 17.32 meter so hold this distance this whole distance this distance we got how much we got this distance we got 17.32 meter this whole distance and only this much distance is 10 this distance is 10 so rest of this this should be 7.32 meter so the height of the flag is 7.32 right so the height of the flag I can say now uh, wait height or the length of flag length of the flag equals to now here I can say length of the flag is now DA minus AB right DA or AD AD minus AB and recently we find out the value of AD as a 17.32 right and AB and AB we are given that is right this height is 10 meter so I can write now here 10 meter so 17.32 minus 10 so it is now 7.32 meter so height of the flag is here 7.32 meter right we got the value that is 7.32 meter so like this we need to solve this kinds of problem and again I want to tell you just whatever the question you have got whatever the words there are try to picturize them properly 
uh, I'm putting here ready-made picture but you need to draw it right you know copy one by one uh, and then uh, see what are the things you have got and what you need to find out and once you uh, once you get uh, focused on a triangle right angle triangle means once you get the right angle triangle where you need to find out the values then see what side you have got and which side you need to find out and see for those two sides which which trigonometric ratio is going to suit and the suitable trigonometric ratio use and get the value like this here let me tell you once more time suppose here another triangle you are getting this is right angle triangle suppose here you have got 30 degree and you have uh, you have got now suppose this you have got this hypotenuse you have got right and you need to find out this suppose now this distance you need to find out right suppose you need to find out this distance so what you will be using now see here here is p perpendicular or opposite and here is height uh, sorry hypotenuse so what is the relationship between the perpendicular and hypotenuse p and h right so there is sine sine is p by h so use at that time sine okay suppose uh, you are gi uh, you are given this and you don't need to find out this you need to find out this so either use h by p or use p by uh, sorry h by b this is base right or use uh, use uh, you can use b by h this b by h right b by h is cos and h by b is sec but i think cos is more standard so use cos cosine you know, we, we also say it's cosine so depending on the situation what you have got right it depends all on that sometimes it may be something like this see this is your triangle right angle triangle sometimes you get both of this value suppose you get this is <coughs> 45 meter suppose 45 meter this is and uh, this is also suppose 45 meter whatever it is you have got these two values right this side and this side you have got and you need to find out what is the angle of elevation then what you will do see here you have got one thing and here you have got one thing this this angle you are supposing means opposite this is opposite and this is base so opposite and base opposite over base opposite over base or you can say the perpendicular over the base is the tan theta right is the tan theta so what I can say now here <coughs> that uh, 45 divided by 45 equals to tan theta right it's tan theta oh it's not writing properly okay yeah tan theta so that is 45 divided by 45 that equals to 1 and which is tan 45 which is equals to tan 45 so you can, you can easily find out that this is 45 degree so like this you know this kinds of stops you have to do I will be doing more problems and that will really clear your problems okay and if you like my videos please uh, vote up me here and then please subscribe me I'll be really happy and I'll try to make more videos please give me the suggestions comments me on the videos uh, there may be some weakness inside me uh, I, I want to remove all the weakness inside me and I'm really hungry of your suggestions and your comments bye bye